Enchanté. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue and welcome to my channel. It's been a few weeks since I was here and that is really just the life of a YouTube channel. I suppose we had some technical problems, had filmed a couple videos and they didn't turn out so we're starting from scratch. So I'm so thankful that you are here. I'm also thankful to Ana Luisa because they are the perfect sponsor for today's video. I'm going to be revealing to you a new idea I have for the channel. And so I'm so glad that Ana Luisa is sponsoring this video. As you know, I've been building my collection of Ana Luisa pieces over the last few years, and you can do the same by visiting shop.analuisa.com forward slash farm girl, because right now they are having a beautiful buy one, get one 40% off sale just in time for Mother's Day. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a tip that my mom gave me and some inspiration from Princess Diana. But first, I want you to look at these beautiful pieces. Ana Luisa believes that how they create their pieces matters just as much as the people who wear them and that luxury should not be defined so narrowly and designed for so few. So their pieces begin at just $39 and there is something for every budget. Recycled materials are used whenever possible and they are 100% carbon and water neutral. I love to visit their website because every time that I do, I find something beautiful. Their pieces are timeless and so well-crafted. I love picking out something for myself or for my daughters. My mom's in Florida. I like to send her a few treats every now and then. So visit shop.analuisa.com forward slash farm girl to participate in their beautiful Mother's Day promotion. It is a BOGO. So you're buying one and you're getting a second piece for 40% off. So I have this new idea for the channel and you know I love to tell stories. If you've listened to my podcast or you've followed the blog for any number of years, you know that I'm extremely, extremely sentimental. And many of the styles and tastes that I have today, I've had since I was a child. So I have this idea for the Parisian Farm Girl channel. I'd like to take you throughout the farm, throughout the property, whether it's my closet or whether it's out with the animals, whether it's in my living room. And I'd like to share with you the stories behind the selections that I've made, the stories behind the pieces, behind perhaps flowers that you see in my garden or an antique that you've seen in numerous videos. And I thought that today we would just have some fun because I think spring is almost here. <laughs> In northern Wisconsin, it just snowed two days ago, but now today it's sunny and beautiful. So I thought it would be fun to talk fashion with you for just a little bit. When we hear the words invest in statement pieces or choose classic styles, a lot of times we think dollar signs. We think that's something unaffordable or unattainable that maybe someone else can do, but we can't. But today I wanna to share with you a little bit about how Princess Diana has influenced my personal style. That influence began back when I was five years old. In fact, why don't you visit parisianfarmgirl.com? That is my website that I'm so proud of. I've been blogging for over 16 years and recently that website received a beautiful makeover. You can click the About Me button and read a little bit more about this story. But today I wanna to share with you uh, just a little bit about how Princess Diana has influenced my wardrobe selections, whether it's a splurge purchase that I'm making or more often than not, something that I am selecting from a local resale shop. Now, in honor of Mother's Day coming up, I thought I'd start with a tip that my mom shared with me when I was just 14 years old. When I was 14, my dad said, go get a job and don't come back until you have one. <laughs> and so I had to leave for the afternoon on foot and come home with a job. And my mom taught me that when you're leaving the house, if you're feeling a little lacking in self-confidence or you don't know what to wear, a really, really simple trick is to just put on a great trench coat. 
All right, let's say that you're headed to the Piggly Wiggly. Yes, I live in Northern Wisconsin. That is a weekly part of my life. So I've got my Carhartt's jacket on, nothing wrong with that. I've got my tennis shoes on and jeans and one of my favorite sweatshirts. This is not a big deal. I can go out in public looking like this, but if I do this week after week, day in and day out, when do I really get to look nice? All I have to do is change a few things and jeans and a sweatshirt can be elevated to an entirely different level. I'm gonna change my shoes, I'm gonna put on a trench coat, and I'm gonna show you what that little trick my mom taught me looks like when it's played out, even when you're just wearing jeans and a sweatshirt underneath. Okay, this is a Brooks Brothers trench coat. Remember when I got this last year and my daughter threw it at me, brand new, while I was wearing bright red lipstick? Here's the trick. You just throw in a trench coat. They're a dime a dozen. I'm gonna show you another beautiful London Fog one that I got at the local nursing home resale shop. So throw in a trench coat. I got this scarf at TJ Maxx. I don't know, $12.99, no big deal. I've got my favorite loafers on. I bought them last year. They're going to last me for years. They're classic. And now I can run to the pig. Let's see, what else do I need? Some sunglasses. I can run to the pig, I look chic, I look stylish. I don't have to do it every time, but if you get sick of sweatshirts and Carhartts, this is a really easy fix. Another way that Princess Diana has personally influenced my wardrobe style is her selection of navy and white. Navy blue is my favorite color. You'll see that on my website. You'll see it in so many of my wardrobe selections. I love the look of navy and white, so when you're wanting to invest in your wardrobe. Again, that word invest doesn't always mean really expensive pieces. It can be as simple as timeless color combinations that never go out of style. As a young woman, I was also cognizant of Diana's selections when it came to her jumpers, or as we call them here in the States, our sweaters. This is where I think she was a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more laid back. Her printed sweaters were iconic, those ones with the adorable prints on them. Recently, I treated myself to the extremely iconic black sheep sweater. But if you look at her pieces over the years, you'll see that she wore cardigans and sweaters with great style. She would pair them with jeans or with boots, sometimes a blazer over top, even a ball cap. She always looked chic. She always looked pulled together. Another really simple trick is to just carefully select your handbag. So if you have a bag that's worn down and looking a little mangy or it's not as tailored as you'd like, you can select something, you can make an investment into a great bag that will last you for years. About eight years ago, I invested in the nicest bag I have. It's just a Michael Kors bag and I have carried it every season for most of the year for the last eight years. So I think back in the day, this bag was about $269 and it has served me so well. I've used it hundreds of times. There is not a stitch coming out of it. It hasn't faded at all. I've left it in my truck. I've used and abused it. So perhaps you need to invest in a bag. Now I'll tell you something fun. A few years ago, my sister-in-law gave my daughters a bag of dress up clothing and I rummaged through that bag and I pulled out this little clutch. Sometimes it's as easy as a little vintage purse. I think she got this at a garage sale. I just wore it for Easter Sunday. Sometimes just grabbing a little clutch will give you that perfect princess style.
Of course, perfect jewelry selection was something that Diana did so well. Back in the 80s, she had these really adorable earrings. They were a bow on the top and then a pearl-shaped heart hung from below. They were her favorite earrings. If you look at old magazines and coffee table books, you will see that she wore them time and again. Pearls are definitely a classic move that you can make. If you would like to see me expand on this subject, of course, Princess Kate has definitely influenced my style. She is on point in so many ways and easy to connect with because we're about the same age. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. If you would like me to do a video on how perhaps Princess Kate has influenced a little bit of my style, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, visit shop.analouisa.com forward slash farm girl, select some items from their wonderful BOGO sale that they're having. Buy one, get one, 40% off. Stick around the channel, check out a few videos, get caught up on some of the DIY projects that we're doing because I will be updating that progress very, very soon. Of course, I'd love to have you as a member of my Old World Design Society, where you can participate in private design classes, flea marketing trips, get your magazine, have access to my private forum, and more. And you can do that by clicking this white circle right here. Stay stylish, stay chic, stay pulled together, Think about who has influenced your personal style and lean into that. And I will see you again very soon. A bientôt.